Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. On this channel, I always feature a book on the topic of interior design or gardening, and often share ways that this book has inspired me or general musings of life. Come sit and relax while we look at the giant book of tiny homes, living large in small spaces, written by John Rhea. If you are weary of all that comes with a large house, high property taxes, big utility bills, tons of maintenance, and just too much stuff, you're definitely not alone. Millions of Americans are turning to smaller living spaces as a pathway to a happier, stress-reduced life. If Hagrid from Harry Potter can do it, you probably can too. The definition of a tiny house may differ from state to state and according to zoning and building codes. Also, if the house is on wheels, the Department of Transportation has their own definition. Most would agree that the definition of a tiny home is subjective but according to the 2018 International Residential Code, a tiny home is defined as any home that falls under a maximum of 400 square feet. It can be built on either a mobile platform or a permanent foundation. The giant book of tiny homes captures the essence of this downsizing trend by showcasing homes across a spectrum of styles and locations. Each is filled with stylish interiors, ingenious solutions for small space living, and stories of contented homeowners across the nation. There is a growing number of talented builders and architects who have trained on creating beautiful, imaginative, small dwellings. Architects that specialize in tiny homes agree that they are usually between 100 and 400 square feet. The tiny house movement is architectural as well as social. It represents itself as simple living, but also as eco-friendly and a solution to the existing housing industry. This tiny house movement is producing tiny villages all over the world. Canada, New Zealand, Japan, and Scotland can boast tiny villages. There are several in the United States, including Texas, California, and North Carolina. This is one tiny village located in Asheville, North Carolina. Modern interior design ideas tend to work very well with a tiny house because they are already focused on space and minimalism. Sleek lines, open spaces, and lots of light are all modern design elements that make a space feel larger. Minimalism and tiny living go hand in hand, 
when you move into a tiny house, decluttering your life is often a necessity. Tiny house living is all about creativity and non-traditional living. While minimalism is often an approach to tiny living, it doesn't mean you have to forego the creature comforts that make you feel cozy. Fireplaces, reading nooks, kitchens that would please most any chef, and bathrooms that seem not at all minimalist. If you've ever considered downsizing to a smaller living space as a pathway to a happier, less stressful life, or you're just curious about this lifestyle, this book is worth the purchase. The Giant Book of Tiny Homes showcases more than 50 houses, some as small as 147 square feet, each filled with stylish interiors and ingenious solutions for living with less. This book provides key questions to ask yourself before making the decision of going small. It provides information on how to plan creative kitchens and bathrooms and what it's like to live in a tiny house with kids. It provides ingenious ideas for hidden storage spaces, as well as innovative design and decorating tips. The Giant Book of Tiny Homes, Living Large, in Small Spaces, written by John Rhea. This book is 192 pages. It is published by Continental Books, and it retails for $25. There are many spectacular carriage houses throughout the country that have been turned into small homes, many of which have shown great attention to detail and are highly desired as living spaces. Especially in New York City, Charleston, Seattle, and New Orleans. This carriage house, located in New York, sold for over $6 million in 2020. Carriage houses originally did just that, housed carriages, and if room and finances allowed, they would also include stables for horses. Our carriage house was built in 1924. Here is a photograph from 1948, just 15 years after being converted into a two-car garage for the family that originally lived here. Come take a walk through this very simple converted carriage house, except for the front. The exterior, including all the windows, are original. There is room for a loft in what is now being used as an attic. We currently use this old carriage house as guest quarters. It is only 375 square feet and is very representational 
of tiny home living.
Thank you for watching, and I hope you will join me next week as we look at A House by the Sea by Bunny Williams.